Welcome back. Welcome to Oakland's Alameda Coliseum, and tonight, the New York Yankees take on the Oakland Athletics. This is going to be a first of a three-game series here in Oakland, as the New York Yankees will be visiting the West Coast for the first time this year. On the mound for the New York Yankees will be Tommy John, and on the mound for the Oakland Athletics, will be right-hander Steve McCaddy. Go ahead and do that once again, folks. Go ahead and roll our own dice tonight and get this started. Let's get on with a little pregame show we have for you tonight. So as the game starts on tonight, the New York Yankees are coming a record of five wins and ten losses. That's minus four from their actual start in real life. And they're taking on the Oakland Athletics. They're eight and eight, and that is actually – three games ahead of their real-life stars. So the A's are playing really well. Again, these are as stocked schedules, so they're not, they're not the as played schedule. That's a difference because in left field tonight is the young rookie, Ricky Henderson, who was not with the team till late in the year, but he gets the play from the beginning with the as stocked rosters, which makes him a quite better team with Mr. Henderson out in left field. Although he wasn't a great player, but he showed signs of speed and and uh, hitting the ball, at least it, in this season. Um, little stats to look forward to if you want to look at them tonight. The New York Yankees come in tonight's game, and they've been hitting a little bit better. No, they're hitting 227 as a team that is last in American League. And they're taking on the Oakland Athletics. They're hitting 274 as a team. And that is about fifth or sixth in the American League, in the, in the majors. The, as for pitching staff, the New York Yankees come up with an ERA of 4.69. That is actually sixth in the worst in the American League. But the Oakland Athletics come in with an ERA of 4.82. So neither team sparkling when it comes to the pitching rotations. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and go over the home plate umpires. Uh, go, go over our umpire crew as they are they are passing out the lineups. The home plate hour tonight will be Larry Barnett. Round first will be Jim Evans. Round second is Fred Spen. And round third will be Ted Hendry. For the New York Yankees tonight, Willie Randolph will lead off uh, batting first. Batting second is the center fielder, Mickey Rivers. Batting third is the catcher, Thurman Munson. Batting fourth is your designated hitter, Oscar Gamble. Batting fifth is the left fielder, Lou Pinella. Batting sixth is the first baseman, Chris Chambliss. Batting seventh is the third baseman, Greg Nettles. Batting eighth is the right fielder, Bob. And a shortstop, Bucky Dent. And on the, on the mound for the New York Yankees is Tommy John. For the Oakland Athletics, Ricky Henderson will lead off and left. Batting second, the center fielder, Dwayne Murphy. Batting third, the red hot first baseman, Dave Reverend. Batting fourth, right fielder, the young right fielder, Tony Armas. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, uh, uh, Mitch Pitt. Uh, it's going, to be, it's going to be Page batting fifth. Okay, his name right when comes up. Catcher will be Jeff Newman. Batting seventh will be the third baseman, Wayne Gross. Batting eighth, the shortstop, Rob Pichelow. And batting ninth is the second baseman, Mike Edwards. As we're getting down the first pitch, as the Oakland A's take the field, the New York Yankees are about ready to start this game off here. The A's, again, let's go over the A's defensively. Henderson left, Murphy in center, Armis in right. That's a very formal outfield here for the A's. Gross, Piccolo, uh, Edwards, and Revering. And then it'll be Newman behind the plate. And on the mound is Steve McCaddy. McCaddy's 0-2, one save, 4.20 ERA. So Randolph ready to lead off. Steve McCaddy ready for the first pitch. And with the first pitch from Oakland. 
If you stayed up late with us, we appreciate it. Here we go. First pitch from Oakland. That'll be a ground ball down the that'll be a ground ball down the first. That'll be picked up, up by Reverend. Let's see if Reverend can get to it. It's far to his left. He'll see if he can pitch it over. No, he does not. He throws it over Steve McCaddy's head. And that's going to be a hit and an error on Reverend. So the Yankees will have a runner at second base to lead off the game as they get as Dave Reverend, unfortunately, unable to unable to field it cleanly. They gave him an infield hit, and then he threw it over Steve McCaddy's head, and he tried to make more than he should have. Now here's Mickey Rivers hitting 259, two homers, and six runs that time. Left-handed hitter. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy now working from the stretch. Here's the pitch. 1-12. Uh-oh. Ground ball down. That looks like Mickey Rivers may have pulled something, may have pulled a ha hamstring. Let's see. Okay, and oh, and he'll come down hard on the ground. They'll rush to his side, and Ricky and that Mickey, Mickey Rivers could be in trouble. They're helping Mickey Rivers off the field, and that could be a big blow for these Yankees. Or without Jackson, at least for the next game of this series. And now it looks like Mickey Rivers is going to be helped off the field, and he'll be helped off the steps. Oh, it looks like it could have been a hamstring or something, and that could be a killer blow for these Yankees who have struggled enough. And now here's the catcher, Thurman Munson. Munson gets to start tonight, uh, of course. He is hitting 3 224 with three runs batted in. He's hitting as an eight game hitting streak. Newman puts down the sign, and Taddy from the stretch. Here's the pitch 1 8, ground ball, ball down the third. Picked up by Gross, looks back, Randolph throws him out, and that's the, and that is the second out. We're watching inside the dugout right now. They've helped Willie Randolph out down to the down to the dugout, down to the uh, training room. So Rivers is not there. We'll get some more results of that when uh, we get him. Here's designated hitter Oscar Gamble hitting 250, three homers and five runs that day. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the stretch. And the pitch, that's a ground ball back, back to the mounds. McCaddy, he gets it, looks up, and throws a strike to end the inning. We played one half inning of play here in Oakland. A's, the Yankees, nothing, and here come the athletics. So now as we're back from commercial, we'll have to see what the Yankees decided to do with their center fielder problem they now have, and that is a huge problem. They don't have another true center fielder on the roster. That's where Juan Benitez came to play. Lou Pinella is not going to work out there. Let's see if Bobby Mercer can play center. He can play it as a four. So Bobby Mercer will go in the game and play center field, and the Yankees are going to have to make some kind of moves, I think, because that is definitely not going to be in their favor. They're going to make some other moves as Lou Pinella will move from left to right. And now playing left field will will be Roy White. So, again, Roy White with the worst of the throwing arms stays in left. So your new outfield alignment will be White and left, Mercer and center, and Pinella in right. So that's going to cause a major shift of problems for the Yankees here in the bottom of the first inning. Bottom of the first here in the state. Here, don't like it. it does that. So here we go. Let's get back to the contest. And now it's going to be Ricky Henderson, the young-looking right left fielder, 219 hitter, no home runs, two RBIs, but he has stolen 10 bases. So you can tell he is a promising young stud in his Oakland A's, in his Oakland A's uniform. Munson puts down a sign. The left-hander Tommy John comes with a record of 0 and 1, 6.23 ERA. Here's the pitch to Ricky. Ground ball down the shore, picked up by Dent. He's got it. Throws over to Chambliss and makes the play in the first out. So they have the speedy Henderson off the bases. So now here is Dwayne Murphy again, another talented center fielder, hitting 295, one home run and six RBIs. Has had three triples so far. Munson to sign. John looks in left-handed. John, the left-handed Murphy, and the pitch. And that is ball four. So Dwayne Murphy, who has not stolen a base yet this year, will take first base. 
and he's on first with nobody out, and I'll bring up the first baseman, the very dangerous Dave Reverend, who's had an unbelievable start so far, hitting 262 with seven home runs and 16 runs batted in. So he'll step up, left-handed hitter against John. Munson puts down the sign. John working from the stretch, right around first, and nobody out. Let's see if they run for him. They do not. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be a line drive in the gap for a base hit. Let's see what's going to happen. Murphy will go first to third. That will go all the way to the wall. So that will probably score. That will score Murphy. And it's over Roy White's head and rolls around. Murphy will score. Rivering will go to third. And the Oakland Athletics have jumped on top one to nothing. So a leadoff triple, a one-out triple for Dave Rivering. So now here's Tony Armas hitting 750. He's only been up four times with three hits. Let's see what Tony can do. 11 home runs and 278 real up bats in the season. Munson puts down a sign. John working from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Six. And that is going to be a ground ball off the middle shortstop. The infield is back. That should score the run. Dent's got it. He gets in the hole. He sets. Throws out. Armas does, but the run should score and does. So an RBI for Tony Armas. And now here is a designated hitter. Finally, the name comes to me. Mitchell Page. He's only been up four times with three hits. And he gets the start today. Bunsen puts down the sign. Tommy John, left-handed pitcher, left-handed batter. 2-6 it is a strikeout. But the Oakland Athletics strike quick, strike hard. They get two in the first. We played one inning of play. Oakland two. And the New York Yankees, nothing. Top of the second coming up here at the Oakland Almeida County Coliseum. The mausoleum, as they say here in Oakland. So now in the top of the second inning, the Yankees will now send up Lou Pinella, Chris Chambliss, and Greg Nettles. Pinella is set up as a 176 hitter, one home run and four RBIs, right-handed hitter against McCaddy. Newman puts down the target. There's the pitch to McCaddy. And that is a five-ball center field. Murphy should come in, make the catch, and there is one away. Batting next with first baseman Chris Chambliss. 184 doesn't sound much, but he hit a little bit better in that series with the Texas Rangers. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the windup. Here's the pitch. That is going to be a struck game out. Chambliss watched it on the inside corner. Back didn't move. And the umpire pulled the trigger on him. Two outs here in the second. It'll now bring up the third baseman, Greg Nettles. And now with Mickey Rivers' injury, Nettles is going to have to be a focal point of this offense. Nice. 196 hitter, one home run, and four runs batted in. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy to Nettles and the pitch. And that is a line drive. Base hit drops in. Just gets in front of Armas. So a three. That is a base hit. That will be a base hit for Nettles. So runner on first with two outs. And now here is the Yankee center fielder, Bobby Mercer. Was not supposed to. Actually, he was in the starting lineup today. He well, no, he actually came in for the injured Rivers. So Mercer in, in center field. His average has absolutely came alive, though. He's 7 of 21 with no home runs and four RBI. Perfect opportunity for Mercer to get time. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the stretch. 4-4. Four, four, ground ball down the third. That is Wayne Gross. Wayne Gross has had some issues with the fielding range and committing boots. Let's see if he does. Foul ball left field. Out of play foul ball. And there's Gross. He's got it. Let's see if he makes the play on it. And no, he does not. He does not make the play. That's the second error of the ball game. So Wayne Gross unable to make the play. The Yankees now got two on and two outs for Bucky Dent. Again, a situation where Dent's going to have to start hitting. Hitting 213, a home run, two runs batted in. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the stretch. Two on, two outs. 6 4. Brown ball up the middle. That's where you want to hit it up. That's where you want to head against these A's. They're not too proficient defensively. Piccolo has it. Does he make the play on it and die? Oh, he does not. And that's going to be an E6. So the third error of the ball game for the Athletics here in the second inning. And the Yankees have loaded the bases for Willie Randolph. 
He's been their own only hitter so far that has shown promise. 373 on the year. He's 0 for he one for one, a hit and an error. Bases loaded, two outs. Yes, he's trying to break on top. Newman puts down a sign. McCaddy from a stretch. Six, seven, struck him out. And Randolph swung at it, and the umpire rung him up. Yankees will strand the bases loaded. After getting two, two errors, we go to the bottom of the second. It's 2 nothing Athletics. Bottom of the second here at the Oakland Alameda. County Coliseum, a late, late start ball game, getting under with Newman, fall by Wayne Gross and Rob Piccolo. Tommy John on the mound. Munson puts down the sign. Newman hitting 318, five home runs and 13 RBIs, having a really solid start so far. Ground ball hit the short, picked up by Dent, gets it, throws him out. Out the first, and that is out number one. So now there's the third baseman, Wayne Gross. Gross on the year, hitting 259, no homers and four RBIs. Left handed hitter. Munson puts down a sign. Lefty John looks in, probably throwing soft stuff away. Ground ball a second. That's hit at Randolph. Randolph has a good, smooth play on this, should be able to get it. Oakland, Oakland field, known to be grass, picks it up and throws them out for out number two. They're playing early in the season, not when the Oakland Raiders will be out here. So the field is in good condition in the early months. Here's a shortstop, Rob Piccolo, hitting 263 with six runs batted in, a right-handed hitter. Munson puts down the sign. John from the windup, and here's the pitch. That is going to be a walk to Rob Piccolo, and he'll be on with two outs with ball four. Second walk by John, and now here is the second baseman, Mike Edwards. Edwards hitting 259, two doubles and a triple so far in the season. Right-handed, Munson puts down the sign. John working from the stretch. Rob Piccolo probably not going to be taking an extra base. He doesn't. Here's the pitch, and that is going to be a line drive down the second, but really Randolph cuts it off on a nice play. Randolph with a nice play and ends the inning. <clears throat> the ace strand one. We play two here at the Oakland Alameda Coliseum. A's two, Yankees nothing. Really, give me the autograms. Top of the third will be Roy White, Thurman Munson, and Oscar Gamble. White came in the game due to the Rivers injury. White hitting 207. He's going to have to get some starts in. Again, the Yankees may have to go up the waiver wire and pick up a center fielder who's going to have to give him time. Newman puts down a sign. A caddy to White and the pitch. 5 4. That ball could be gone. Hit down the right field line. Let's see. Does it have enough carry? No, not here in Oakland. The ball dies here at night and it bounces off the top of the wall. And Roy White will be in the second with a double. So, White with a double. That's a good start for these Yanks. And now here's Thurman Munson. 0 for 1, working out of even eighth game hitting streak. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working from the stretch. Here's the pitch. That is going to be a fly ball in the right field. That is going to be Tony Armas. Let's see if Armas can come running in on it. He's usually a really good fielder. And let's see what happens. Fly ball right field. Armas coming in on it. Does he make the catch? Does he make it? Yes, he. No, he does. And White has to get back to second. So Armas made a nice play, keeping the runner at second. With one out, and here is the big O, Oscar Gamble. 0 for 1 his first time up. Runner on second. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Gamble. Two. That's a ground ball hit the short. Piccolo, he'll look back. He'll look back. White throws over to first for out number two. With these A's defense, the Yankees have to take advantage of these games. Uh, they're not good defensively. The offensively, they played above their heads. I think the Yankees can compete with them and probably get the sweep here. Here's Lou Pinella with two outs. He fly down his first time up. Big opportunity for Lou to get a two-out base hit. White with good speed. Newman puts down a target. McCaddy from the stretch. And that is a ground ball down the short. Oh, Piccolo's got it. Throws out the Reverend, and that will do it for the Yanks in the third. They strand the runner. They strand the leadoff double. Let's go to the bottom of the third. It's 2 nothing Athletics. Bottom of the third here at the stadium, Henderson, Murphy, Revering will bat for the Athletics. Henderson the bat, 
Ricky so far is 0 for 1, hit a ground ball first time up. Munson puts down the sign. Tommy John looks in from the pitch. And here we go. And that's going to be a five ball center field. That's good. They kept Ricky off the base paths again. Mercer is there. The ball's hit directly at him, so he'll be able to field this and makes the catch for the first out. So now here's Dwayne Murphy. Again, Murphy walked his first time up and scored one of the two open runs. Left-handed hitter, good power, good young ball player. Munson puts down the sign. John from the windup, here's the pitch. That's a ground ball. Hit hard to second. Randolph's got it. Oh, what a play by Willie. Gets up and throws a strike to Chambliss for out number two. Great play there by Ricky. Great play there by Willie. So two outs in the third. And now here's Dave Revering. Tripled in a run his first time up. Again, he's having an unbelievable start with seven home runs. Munson puts down the sign. John working from the windup. And that is going to be a fly ball in the center field. It's again directly hit at Mercer. Doesn't have to move. Makes the catch. And that will do it for the A's in the third. Three up, three down. We go to the top of the fourth. Oakland two and the Yankees nothing. We're back here. We start the fourth inning here at the Oakland Alameda Coliseum. It'll be Chambliss, Nettles, and Mercer, all left-handed batters here against Steve McCaddy. Chambliss 0 for 1 so far. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy looks in, gets the sign. Here's the pitch. That will be a fly ball in the center field. That's a little bit tougher play for Murphy. He's going to get on his horse. Let's see if he makes the play or not. Murphy comes in, tries to put the glove out, and reaches and makes the catch for the first out. Good catch there by Murph. So one away. Here's the third baseman, Greg Nettles. He singled his first time up. That was one of the Yankees' three hits in the ball game. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy, the right-hander. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be another base hit for Nettles. Nettles, a hard drive in the gap of right field. Nettles round first, and he will stop right there. He was thinking of two, but it was cut off real well by the center fielder. Murphy turns around and threw a strike into Edwards. So Nettles with his second hit of the ball game. Runner on first and one man out, bringing the tiring run to the plate, and here is Bobby Mercer. He is being played really well. Reached on a third base error his first time up. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working from the stretch. Runner on first and one out. And that is going to be a line drive down the second. Mike Edwards with a nice play. Edwards snags it for out number two. Two outs in the fourth as Nettles had to head back. So now here's Bucky Dent. Dent so far has reached on a shortstop error. The A's have committed three errors in three and two thirds. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working from the stretch. Here's the pitch. That is going to be a base hit in left field. Oh, what a hit by Dent. He had a two-out base hit. Let's see if they can get Nettles to third on this. He will be tested. One to 14 going to third. And they are going to send the leading runner. And they will get the runner to third. So instead of risking Bucky Dent going to second, they allow Nettles to go first to third. First and third, two outs. And here's the second baseman, Willie Randolph. An opportunity Willie's going to have to cash in on. One for two. He singled back in the first, struck out back in the second. Top of the fourth, two on, two outs. No, Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working down from the stretch. Two on the pitch. And that is a line drive. Oh, what a play by Rob Piccolo. Puts the glove out, makes the catch. Oh, he was at the right place at the right time. Yankee strand two. Let's go to the bottom of the fourth. It's 2 nothing Oakland here on WINX, home of the New York Yankees. So now it'll be Tony Armas, followed by Mitchell Page and Jeff Newman. So Armas, Newman, and Page, right, left, right, for the A's here in the fourth. Munson puts down the sign. Tommy John looks in. Here's the pitch. That will be a pop it straight up. It's gonna be in fat. It's gonna be in fair territory. Nettles is in a call off dent, and yep, he waves dent off. Makes the catch for the first down. And now here's Mitchell Page, 0 for one. He struck out his first time up. Tommy John has struck out one and walked two. Only giving up one hit, but he trails two. Munson puts down the sign. The lefty John in the pitch. That will be a strikeout for Mitchell Page. Swung right through it. And, again, that's a big strikeout. That is strikeout number two 
both on Mitchell Page for Tommy John. So two strikeouts and two walks and one hit. And now here's here's Jeff Newman, 0 for 1, grounded out his first time up. Mercer puts down the sign. John nods. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a ground ball down the first. Chambliss has got it. Let's see if he'll need. Let's see if he'll need the help from John. John racing over. It's the catcher. Chambliss should be able to reach it himself. Chambliss gets to the bag himself and gets him. The A's go one, two, three in the fourth. Let's head to the fifth here in Oakland. Oakland two and the New York Yankees nothing. Top of the fifth coming here at Oakland's Alameda Coliseum. We're going to take a look ahead here at the at ball games as the Yankees will be visiting the Oakland Athletics tomorrow night. Again, same start here. It'll be again, it'll be a late night, late night start. It'll be 1030 Eastern time and it'll be 730 on the right here, 730 local. The pitching matchup in that ball game will be Ed Figueroa for the New York Yankees and Greg Minetto uh -huh. for the A's. Uh, there's supposed to be a third game of the series on Thursday. Uh -huh. But you know the A's are are they don't cancel a lot of ball games out here in Oakland, but they are worried there is a really bad storm coming through, and we'll keep you we'll kind of keep you covered. And what's going to happen here? What happens at this after this? Yankees will go to Seattle for the weekend for a weekend series before then before coming home to play a, a weekend series with the California Angels. So top of the fifth, Yankees trail by two, 0 5 and 0 for the Yanks, 2 1 and 3 for the A's. White, one for one for the double. Newman puts down the sign, McCaddy and the pitch. 5 8, and that's a, a ground ball down the second. That's Edwards. That, again, is a tough play for Mike Edwards. Is he going to be able to reach it? It's get right at him. Does he make the play? And no, oh, he cannot. That's an infield hit. So that's a base hit. So it goes right through. He can, uh, Edwards unable to make the play. So that's a base hit for the Yanks for White. He has two hits in the ball game. Yanks have to take advantage of these of these errors they're getting. Roy White has some pretty good speed. Can probably run a bit. The thing that keeps him going again. This is the he's not star. He's a D stealer. That's why he's probably not going anywhere. Here's Thurm, top of the fifth. They are holding nope, up. They're going to allow White to run. So Reverend will play in back of them. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working from the stretch on Munson. 5 7. Got Munson on the inside corner. Munson is fuming mad. Oh my. As here comes Bob Lemon. He'll try to keep Munson from getting thrown out this ball game as he caught that inside corner. At least that's what the umpire said. And Thurman is hot. So here's Oscar Gamble. He's 0 for 2 with two ground outs. Gamble has to be in this lineup now. No Rivers. They get Jackson back next time. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the stretch. That will be a ground ball down the third. Again, that is hit at a weak position player. Wayne Gross has got it. Is he able to make the play? He comes charging in on it. The throw is made. He gets him. He gets it, but Roy White will take second base. So Roy White goes in the scoring position. Runner on second, two outs, and here is Sweet Lou Pinella. 0 for 2 in the ballgame. You can tell by, by his early statistics, Pinella is really stressing. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the stretch. Runner on second, two out, pitch to Pinella. And that is going to be a base hit for Pinella the middle. Roy White was running on the play. He should score from second. Up the middle. Here comes White around third and scores. And the Yankees now trail it 2 to 1. RBI base hit, Lou Pinella. So Pinella's on, gets Lou Chance here, even in Oakland. Here's Chambliss, 0 for 2. Chambliss has struck out and flied out. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working from the stretch. Runner on first and two outs. Five. And that will be another line drive in the gap for a base hit. Runner on first will easily head to third. They'll cut it off and hold the runner at first. So Chris Chan was with a long single in the gap. Pinella third. First and third Yanks with two outs. That is an eighth hit for the Yanks here. And now here's the third baseman, Greg Nettles. His average is starting to peak above 220 right now. He's had two hits in the ball game. Boy, can he use a big hit here. First and third, two outs. Steve McCaddy working from the stretch. Newman puts down the sign. Here's the pitch from a caddy. And that is a ground ball down 
the first that is picked up by Revering. He will wait for McCaddy, gives it to him, and gets the side out. But the Yanks score one. They strand two. It's head to the bottom of the fifth here in Oakland. The A's two and the New York Yankees one. 10-10 wins. Home of the New York Yankees here on the radio. I did Jester. How you doing? It's only 11 o'clock, so I do work early, but I don't care. Additional Yankee uh, West Coast. So last of the fifth here, as it's 2-1 to one Yanks, it will now be Gross, followed by Piccolo and Edwards. So back for the Athletics against Tommy John. Munson puts down the sign. John looks into Gross. Left-handed pitcher, left-handed hitter. 1-3, fly ball, shallow center. Mercer there comes in, makes the catch, and I believe that is the third put out for Bobby today. Again, they're without Rivers, who got hurt early in this ball game. Yankees are without Jackson, at least, until the next game. He could be available to start in the second game of the series. Rob Piccolo walked his first time up. Munson puts down the sign. John, working from the windup, Piccolo walked his first time up. 1-8, struck him out. Piccolo struck him out. He swung, and John got his third strike out of the ball game. So two outs in the fifth. Here's the second baseman, Mike Edwards. Edwards in the ball game lined out his first time up. Munson puts down the sign. Tommy John, the lefty, the crafty lefty. Here's the pitch, and that is a pop straight up. Dent's got it. He'll call off Nettles this time. He waves them off and makes the catch, and that will end the inning. The A's go three up, three down. Let's head to the six. We're halfway through here in Oakland. It's Oakland two, and the New York Yankees one. Again, this is the 1979 uh, Alternate Universe New York Yankee replay. We're playing uh, with the as stock teams. Um, Thurman Munson has a no-fly uh, no fly clause in his contract, so he will not be able to fly home during the season. He's also using his 1978 card, not his 1979, and that way it's a full season for him, and he has a good card to use. And I'm also making trades during the year. Since we have injuries, I'm making trades as a general manager. The Yankees made a trade this past week, trading Jim Spencer to the to the Baltimore Orioles for pitcher Tim Stoddard, as I needed some help in the bullpen. Now they're going to need some help in the outfield, as they really got poor outfielders for a week, and that's going to end up killing them in the long run. So it's 2-1 Oakland, top of the sixth. Yankees 1-8-0, while the A's are only at two runs on one hit and three errors. Mercer back here in the sixth. We fall by Dent and Randolph. Newman puts down the sign. Steve McCaddy still out there for the A's. Here's a pitch. That is Wayne Murphy with the catch and one away. Before that Toronto Blue Jay outfield came around, which was Bell, Mosby, and Barfield, the outfield, you would say, of Henderson, Murphy, and Armas was considered to be a, one of the best in baseball. And this is the rookie year of Ricky, only about 300 at bats, but he's getting a chance to play. Again, one of the things about an alternate universe replay, he gets to play. Newman puts down the sign, a catch. Oh, at his ground ball hit the short. And that's Piccolo. That's nothing guaranteed. He gets it. Let's see. He had, he throws. He got him. Good throw by Piccolo and Rovering with a nice stretch. Two outs here in the sixth for Willie Randolph. Randolph one for three in the ball game. Single back in the first. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy going strong here into the sixth inning. And that is going to be a walk for Randolph. So Randolph works a walk. A two out. Walk as they'll bring up the left fielder, Roy Wade. He's been a big factor for this Yankee team today. He replaced Mickey Rivers in the lineup, and it's been really good. He's two for two, a double and a single. We'll see if Willie wants to steal, though. It would be a it would be a 1 to 12 or a 60% chance with two outs, and you get him in scoring position. Let's see. Let's try to steal this. 
will try to steal. Here we go. It's only a 12, and here's the throw. And it is, oh, it's a 19. And that throw by Jeff Newman throws out Randolph to retire the side. No runs, a walk, no man left. After caught stealing, we head to the bottom of the six. It's 2-1 Oakland. So Ricky Henderson will be followed by Murphy and Reverend against Tommy John here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Thank you so much. Again, this is a late night scene, but I got friends and family here to celebrate the Yankees on the road. It will be Henderson followed by Murphy and Reverend. Ricky so far 0 for 2, a ground out and a fly out. Munson puts down the sign. John with the windup. That is going to be a base hit for Ricky Henderson. He's on for the first time. Now let's see if he can run. So that could be a problem. We'll see what Munson can do at the minus one. All the amount of 70%. This could be problems, folks. That is going to be a one to 14, I guess. That is going to second. Let's see if they go. And they do. Here comes the throw for Ricky. Got it. Great throw by Munson. He threw it from his he threw it from his kneecaps. He got him. Munson is famous from throwing from his knees. So Munson got the ball, uncorked it, and Randolph put the tag down. So Henderson is done. Merce, Merce, Munson nods his approval, and Ricky is done. So here's Dwayne Murphy. So we have two caught stealings in the ball game. Munson puts down the sign. John the Murphy. That is a base hit right field. Another hit, so that's not good. He's getting soft contact here in the sixth. Third base of the ball game. Murphy with good seed with Dave Reverend coming up to the plate. Runner on first. He's, now he won't run, I don't think. One to nine. Nope. All right. Runner on first one. Again, the Oakland Athletics being run by the supercomputer. Munson puts down the sign. John from the stretch. Two, eight. Ground ball is not hit hard to third. Randolph's is, Nettles is not going to have much play on. He gets it, goes to second. That's all you're going to get. So Reverend is safe at first with the fielder's choice, two outs. And here is Tony Armas, 0 for 2 with an RBI. He grounded out, got an RBI back in the first, then popped up. Oakland leads 2-1, two outs, five to six. Munson puts down the sign. John from the stretch. Here's a pitch to Armas. Ground ball down the third, hit harder. Nettles has got it. He gets it, scoops. And throws them out. Throws a strike to Chambliss to end the inning. A's are out in the order in the six. It's getting late for the Yanks. Let's go to the top of the seventh. It's 2-1 Athletics. Yankees one run on eight hits and no error. While the Oakland Athletics are two runs, three hits, and three errors. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Yankees need to get back in this ball game. They are five and ten full West Coast trip where they're going to play the A's and Mariners, and then they're going to play a red hot Angel team where Ron Guidry will take on Nolan Ryan, which will be one of our television games on WPIX in the near future. Of course, these games out in the West Coast are are not televised on normal, so you're listening to us on WINS, home of the New York Yankees, on your radio dial. Top of the seventh, the Yankees are one eight zero. The Oakland A's two three and three. Here's White two for two for two, a double and a single. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the pitch. That will be a that will be a base set. Roy White with his third hit. If he had that hit with the runner on, who knows? They would have gotten him in scoring position. So Roy White comes in on this team, replacing Mickey Rivers, and he has three hits. So have yourself a day, Roy White. So he's on at first, nobody out, and brings up Thurman Munson. He's 0 for 3. He's still looking for his hit to extend his hitting streak to nine games. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working from the stretch. Runner on first. Wait. Is Dave Reverend playing in back of him? Here's the pitch. Three. And it's a ground ball to short. Oh, Piccolo's going to have it. He soft hands it to Edwards. Throws a strike to Randolph, and he got two for a price of one. Two, a uh, double play, a tailor-made 6-4-3 double play. And this double play is brought to you by Taco Bell, where you can go to your local Taco Bell and buy one, get one free, because of the double play grounder gets you buy one and get one free. Top of the seven, two outs, two one A's. Here is Gamble, 0 for 3 so far. 
Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the windup and the pitch. That will be a base hit for Oscar Gamble. They needed Gamble to get a base hit, and he just does. But unfortunately, the wiped out double play puts Gamble alone at first. Yankees 10th hit the ball game. They can win this one, folks. Their A's defense can really give this to them. They know the A's defense is suspect. Here's Pinella. He had the only RBI back in the fifth inning. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working from the stretch. Run around first and two outs. Pitch the Ooh, that's a foul ball. I could not release the other green die out of my hand. Let's replay this. Here we go. Play ball. Three, eight. It popped it straight up. That will be Mike Edwards. He will call off the Reverend. Catch is made, and the Yankees strand another one. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Let's get up and stretch in Oakland. Oakland two and New York Yankees one. Oakland two, three, and three, while the New York Yankees are at one, ten, no. Let's take a look at some of our stats so far. So far, as we're looking at it, the Yankees have left, let's see, 10 runners on base. That'll do it. They have 10 hits and 10 left. And the Oakland A's have only left two. Tommy John's gone six strong innings, three hits, two runs, both earned, two walks, and three strikeouts. While Steve McCaddy's gone seven innings, ten hit ball, one runs, one earned, one walk, and three strikeouts. So we'll see how the A's handle that going onward in the future. Let's now look at our out-of-town scoreboard and see what's going on there. So far, the Baltimore Orioles lead the California Angels 6-5. That's on the West Coast. Home runs by Gary Renneke is fifth and Don Baylor is fifth. The Mariners and Red Sox out in Seattle. They're tied at two. Rupert Jones had his first home run. Texas leads Toronto 5-4. to four. Uh, The White Sox over the Royals 4-3. to three. It is the Twins over the Indians 6-2. to two. The Expos all over them. Expos defeating, I guess, the Padres 10-6. Dawson is fourth home run. The Mets beat the Giants 8-2. Joel Youngblood hit his first. Phillies over the Dodgers 9-7. Dave Lopes hit his fourth. And it was the Cardinals defeating the Braves 2-1. And then it was the Cincinnati Reds up above the Pittsburgh Pirates 8-0 as George Foster hit his seventh. As we continue on here, we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. We're back as Tommy John takes the mound. He'll pitch to Page, Newman, and Gross for the A's here in the seventh. The A's are been limited to only three hits in this ball game. Unfortunately, has two runs in the first. And they, that lead has held up. Munson puts down the sign. John the page and the pitch. Two seventh base at right field. He took John. He took John and pulled him right in the right field. That's a big hit. Base hit number four for the Athletics. You're in Tommy John's weakness, I believe. So now the Yankee bullpen is going to have to start getting up. Their bullpen is down the right field line, as you can see, as they're being protected better by a catcher and usually someone watching him. A bad place to me if you're talking about where to place bullpens. You're going to get somebody hurt out there as the line drive can easily clip somebody, but this is how the kind of stadium was built. So runner on first is Paige. Here is Jeff Newman. If you want a Seinfeld reference, Munson puts down the sign. John from the stretch to Newman. 2-10 is a ground ball back to Johnny. Fields it. He could turn two here. Throws it at Dent. Got it. Back to Chambliss. Yes, he gets it. One, six, three, double play. Holy cow, what a play by Tommy John. So Tommy John turns a double play. And you can score that in your scorebooks at home. One, six, three. So now here's Wayne Gross. He's 0 for 2. Munson puts down the sign. Tommy John looks in. And the pitch. That will roll around a bit. That's a one. Oh, that was a wrong one. The turn. Deep right field. Wayne Gross has really tattooed in this one. Pinellas way back. Mercer back. Back, back. And gone. It's home run. Home run, Wayne Gross. And the Oakland Athletics have taken a 3-1 lead. Boy, was that a goner. He hit a charge into that one, and Tommy knew it. So now here's Rob Piccolo. He's 0-for-1 with a walk. Holy cow. You can tell Bob Lemon not happy about that pitch. Munson puts down a target. John looks in and the pitch. That's going to be a shallow fly center field. Mercer coming in on it. Makes the catch. And that will do it for the seventh inning. But a Wayne Gross bomb 
gives the A's a three to one lead as we head to the eighth. And Steve McCaddy will still make his way out here in the eighth inning. Oakland three and the New York Yankees one. Oakland three runs on five hits and three errors. The New York Yankees one run on 10 hits and no errors. And of course, they have stranded 10 runners. All right, see you later. It'll be Chambliss, Nettles, and Mercer. Yankees trying to get back in this. Let's see if they can. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy and the pitch. That will be a ground ball to short. Let's see again. That's Piccolo. He looks in his glove. He kind of delays it. Can he make the play on it? He's already made a couple mistakes today. He gets it. Double fires. Safe. That's an infield base hit. So an infield base hit, Piccolo just could not get, get a hold of it and fire it. So Chambliss beats it out. It puts, again, the tying runner at the plate, hit number 11. So here's Nettles. He's two for three. Boy, Nettles has only had one home run in 59 at-bats. Boy, he can use one right now. Newman puts down the side. The caddy from the stretch. Yankees needing something big here. Brown ball back to the mound, McCaddy. He cannot get a good grip, though. He throws it back to Piccolo. It's high. Chambliss is out, but Nettles will be safe. So, all right, they went to the second baseman, Edwards, but he got it too high. Nettles came in well with the, the slide there. So, Nettles with the relay beat, and it's a fielder's choice. So, the inning will stay alive. And here's Bobby Mercer. He's 0 for 3 so far. Mercer can use a big hit right now. How you do that? Newman puts down the signs. McCaddy from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And that will be a walk. So a walk to Mercer. And the Yankees now bring the two runners on base that represent the tying run. But unfortunately, it brings up Bucky Dent. So let's see what Dent can do. He's one for three, has a hit back in the fourth. Can Bucky get a big base hit? Can they stay out of the double play? Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy working from the stretch. First and second one. I was see if they didn't take McCaddy out. They did it. That's going to be a struck him out looking. Bucky Dent couldn't take the bat off his shoulder. And McCaddy gets him looking. For Steve McCaddy, that's the one of the big strikeouts of the ball game. His fourth. So now the second baseman, Willie Randolph. A chance for Willie to become a huge hero here. He is one for three. And a a single back in the first. He walked back in the sixth. McCaddy to stay out there to finish this inning. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy nods his head. Here's the pitch to Randolph. And that's going to be also the only thing he fired. He swung at ball four. Fly ball left field. Henderson there makes the catch. And the Yankees strand two to make it a dozen. Let's head to the bottom of the eighth. A's three, Yankees one. And boy, they can't get a break, and that is definitely for sure. So last so the eighth, Yankees trying to hold on. There's things up here. So far, Tommy John's only had one decision on the air. He's got a couple no ones. 35 hits in 29 minutes, 12 walks, 11 strikeouts. So here is going to be Edwards, Henderson, and Murphy for the athletics. Munson puts down the sign. John looks in, and that's a strikeout on the inside corner, and Tommy gets one looking. Home plate umpire quick to make that decision. That was his fourth of the game. So now here's Ricky. He's one for three, had a hit back in the sixth, and he got caught stealing. Munson puts down the side. Tommy John looks in and the pitch. That will be a base hit for Ricky. He might steal again. So Ricky again, that shows you the young, aggressive hitter Ricky is. Knocks into right field with that hit. Ricky's on, and let's see if he steals again. It's a 1-14 to 14 chance. Munson knows he may try it, and here he goes. Here's the throw. Not in time. So Henderson basically steals. Stole that off Tommy John's slow delivery. Runner on second and one out. Ricky's a 50 percenter to go to third. Let's see if they keep trying to steal this. Murphy, a left-handed hitter. 
Yankees have Tim Stoddard, one of their new pickups, in their Yankee bullpen. Munson puts down the sign. John the Murphy, 2-8, and that is a little looper in the center field. Let's see if it drops. Good hustle, good hustle. Makes the catch, I believe. Give me a second. We'll find this out together in the center, in the right field. Caught, actually, the line drive of the Y. So Henderson is stopped at second with two outs, and here is Revering. Revering is going to hit against John. John normally he pitches well against other left-handed batters. On deck is Armas. So he almost prefers to hit against righties. So you're not so oh, John is going to be in this to finish this. Munson puts down the sign. John working from the stretch. A fast runner and Henderson at second. And that is a ground ball the second. Randolph smothers it. Great play by Randolph. Picks it up, throws him out, and the A's are done in the eighth. Let's head to the ninth. A's three, Yankees one. Do the New York Yankees have a rally in their bones? We're going to find out here on WINS, home of the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees, one run, 11 hit, no errors, while the Oakland A's, three runs on six hits and three errors. And again, the New York Yankees have officially left 12 runners on base here at the Oakland Mausoleum Graveyard, and that's what it's turning out to be. So Steve McCaddy will stay out there and pitch to White, who has three hits, followed by Munson and Gamble. Guys, they want up in this part to try to get this win for, for the Yanks. Let's see if they can do it right now. So White, three for three. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy looks in. Here's the pitch to White. Does he do it again? Yes, he walks. So Steve McCaddy walks his third man. And again, the Yankees bring the tying runner to the plate, and it's your catcher and hero and your captain, Thurman Munson, still looking for a hit to extend that hitting streak. 0 for 4 so far. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the stretch. Runner on first and nobody out. The pitch is a foul ball. Ooh, that he probably just got a piece of that one and would have struck out. So Munson getting a second breather here. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy from the stretch. And that is a ground ball back to McCaddy. He's going to race this real quick. He gets it. He turns around, throws a strike to Piccolo. Back to Reverie. Double play. One, six, three. And that's two quick outs here in the ninth. And now here's Oscar Gamble. One for four. Panella on deck. So let's see what they do for Gamble here. McCaddy to stay after. He's going to try to complete this game. Newman puts down the sign. McCaddy looks in. The Yankees trying to get something going here before it's too late. Fly ball right field. This should do it for the Yankees. Armas is there. He comes in, makes the catch, and the Oakland Athletics win this ball game by the score of 3-1. to one. Wow, and the Oakland A's have now gone to 9-8, and eight, while the Yankees have slumped to 5-11. and 11. John, a complete game, loss is 0-2, 8 innings, 6 hits. He deserved better. Three runs and three earned. Steve McCaddy, 9 innings, gave up 11 hits. One run was earned. He scattered them, I guess. Three walks and four strikeouts. The Yankees left 12 on base. Errors in the ballgame, Reverend Gross and Piccolo doubles by White, triples by Rivering Wayne Gross at a key home run in the in the seventh inning that put the A's up by two, which is a big one. Ricky did have his 11th stolen base of the year. Big hitters for the Yankees. Boy White three for three. Chambliss two for four, and Greg Nettles two for four. Ricky Henderson was two for four at that stolen base. Wayne Gross had a hit, which was the home run, and they win this game by the score of three to one. Again, your next telecast here on WINS, the home of the home, the radio home of the New York Yankees, will be tomorrow night as the New York Yankees play at the Oakland Athletics, as will be Greg Minetto taking on Ed Figueroa. And then there's that Thursday game, but again, they're talking a lot of rain in the forecast here in the Northern Bay Area. That game could be in jeopardy, and the Yankees do return back here during the summer for a three-game series. That could be made up if necessary. And then the Yankees will go out to Seattle and play a weekend series with the Mariners. And then before returning home, 
will have that tough series with the California Angels in Anaheim. Well, folks, this has been the Sports Time Machine for a presentation of 1979 New York Yankee baseball right here on the station. Again, the Yankees lose this one three to one foot on a six game disabled list. And the Yankees will need some more offense or, or something. Right now, they cannot put that defense on, on the field or they are going to be in tr trouble. They can get the offense, but eventually they can do what they can pick up. Off team is, is a tough one. They don't score a lot. And again, with, the, with this, with these series against the with the A's, the Mariners, and then the Angels, who are really good, good they're going to have to win a majority of these because they come home then and then play the same teams. So this is a key part of their schedule. So if you're a fan of this, please continue. Please sit like we appreciate it. If you haven't, please. Subscribe, and you're listening to once again New York Yankee baseball as we play this one late in the evening as the West Coast start. And thank you so much. We'll see you guys again possibly tomorrow night. The Oakland Athletics. Stay safe, everybody. This is Sports Time Machine saying good night from.